cheated because a week ago we did fill it up with water and I did add two pieces of dry rock in it and went ahead and added bacteria but today is the Saturday after Christmas the 28th and we just hung the lights up so we did get a powerful enough light for coral growth um, which we're not going to add any of that today the main topic of today is adding fish to this thing finally so we kind of let it cycle a week we did already mix the water. Um, usually you would want, ideally you would want to go to your fish store and buy water from them that's pre-mixed and then filtered already, but I just used tap water, mixed it here, let it cycle through the pump system for a week just to make sure it's clean before we added any fish. Um, we will add more bacteria though today once we add the fish. This is a 300 watt light. We're using a Mars Aqua. It's only set at 10% with the lights on right now. So as you can see, it's super bright. Um, and once we get all the fish in and stuff acclimated, then we can really see where we want the light system at. But for now, we're gonna keep it here at 10%, introduce the fish. Um, rock wise, we have about 30 pounds of rock in here. Normally you want one pound of rock per gallon. Um, so we're a little short there, but that's okay. And we're doing this bare bottom. So as you can see, there's no sand or gravel bed. Um, we're gonna try it out. Supposedly it's easier to keep it clean. I've never done one like that. Um, so it will be a first time for me, but uh, good experience. We'll see what happens. Um, so from here, we're going to go buy the fish at our local store, and then when we get back, we'll show us acclimating them and getting everyone in the tank. All right, guys, we just pulled up at Nay Hackey's Aquarium here in Melbourne, Florida. So I don't know what fish we're going to get yet, but we're going to go in there and see what they have. Um, I've never filmed in there or anything, so we're not going to talk in there, but we will try and get some clips and show you guys some of the fish. And then when we get back home, that's what we're going to do, the unboxing, we'll see what we got. All right. two ways we're going to do it drip style but at first we want to get the temperature right um, so easiest way to do that is just place the bags in your aquarium and let them float around so first set of fish we got a pair of clown fish going here second we got a six line rats that guy is really pretty with the blue and greens Next is the Starry Blenny. Now this guy's good at eating algae and stuff that grows on the rocks. Keeping the tank clean. And then last, we got a couple invertebrates. So we got two cleaner shrimp. Those also help keep the tank clean. All right, so we're gonna let these guys float for like probably five, 10 minutes, but I'm gonna do a drip life acclimation. And what that does is it kind of, one, it helps with the temperature, but two, it kind of helps with the skin on the fish because with it being salt water, um, 
I kind of think of it as like jumping into an Epsom salt bath or whatnot. It can burn their skin based on the pH levels being different. So you always want to drip them into the new tank and I'm going to show you how to do that next. All right guys, so we got the fish. We've sat them in here for about five minutes now, but like I said before, we're gonna drip acclimate them. So that will help with the temperature as well. So what I did, I got a five gallon bucket, any bucket will work or bowl. And then any type of tubing, I actually have this from an old IV set that I had, and it has the drip control on it, which is pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is open the fish up. We'll pour each one of them into the bucket. And then whatever the volume is at, the goal is going to be to fill it up, double that amount with the actual aquarium water in here. Now I did pick up a couple extras. So frit start, turbo start, this is just beneficial bacteria. Once we add the fish, we're going to add this in after them. I got some Monster 460, that just helps keep the glass clean. Again, more bacteria. And then Prime, because this is a new tank, the water has been cycled for a week and I have used this already on it. But just to be safe, as we're introducing the fish, we're gonna check the nitrate levels daily and this will just help them keep them in check if they get out of whack. So now we're gonna start adding these fish into the bucket. You guys see that so we're just slowly pouring him in outwards the hole that's the first one go for the shrimp next now you can add all these things in the same bucket you don't have to have a different bucket for each fish or item that you're adding even if we were adding like coral today I would have thrown them in the same bucket. All right, shrimp are in. Next, we'll throw the clowns in. Now, because this is a new tank, technically with this water that's in the bucket, you could add some back into your tank. But say this was an established tank and we already had fish in it, crabs, etc. You wouldn't want to introduce foreign water to the environment just in case there was something in it that was harmful or parasite or something like that. So this is another good way too to keep any of that from happening because once they get acclimated you can use your net and take the fish or whatever's in there directly out into the tank without really introducing any new water. All right, so we got everyone in the bucket with this dial here. Just slightly, we're just gonna let this drip probably for 10, 15 minutes, however long it takes just to double the volume. And then after that, we're gonna be adding them into the tank. All right guys, so we're just waiting until this temperature gets closer to 80 degrees. We're still dripping, probably another five minutes and we'll be good to go. All right guys, so the fish are ready to go in. Now we're gonna actually use a net, and I may add some of this water back into the tank because we drained so much out in the bucket that the power is kind of making some noise. But we'll do this by net, and then I'll add a little bit of the water after. Alright guys, so we got everyone in. Our shrimp are in. Let's 
trips floating around on the boat. We're gonna add a little bit of this water back in. And everyone should be good to go. All right, so that's the previous level I had it before. That way I know just the salt's the same and all that. Remember, as this evaporates out, you never add salt water back to it. You always add fresh water again because you'll start messing with your salinity levels. So everyone's in. Like I said, we have the light super low. We don't even have the blues turned on. We're just gonna let everyone get acclimated for the next 24 hours. And then we can start playing with the lighting system. That's that. I'm not gonna feed anyone until tomorrow as well. Now remember I said we did get turbo start. So since the fish are in, I'm gonna go ahead and add just one cap full of this to the tank. Now this stuff smells pretty bad. It's just bacteria that's gonna help eat up ammonia, nitrate, um, waste from the fish, etc. We're gonna do one little about a milliliter of prime. And then last thing, the Monster 360. Now this is more of like a waste eater, like fish poop, but it's still good to keep the glass clean, rocks clean, things like that. And this will be really important, especially since we're doing a bare bottom tank. Um, I like adding that stuff once a week, just keep keeping the levels in check. But obviously if your tank's really dirty or the water's kind of cloudy, this, that, you can add more. And they actually have recommendations on the bottles for that. So we're all set up. Look out for the next video where we do an update. Uh, next video, we want to go buy some coral um, and maybe a couple more fish. So stay tuned.